hey you good morning good afternoon good night whenever it is that you're watching this video i hope you're having a lovely one today we will be doing some finger coils after watching this video you will learn everything about finger coiling so our hair is freshly shampooed and these are the products that we will be needing for this style. I have my Red Gain One United Leave-In Conditioner, I have my Cream of Nature Moisturizing Curl Activator, I have me a water spray bottle and I have some oils. Now starting out with our first section, I will be spraying that down with my water because in this style water is key then I'm going in with my one united leave-in conditioner to make sure that the hair is nice and soft you want to make sure that you apply that generously just so it is properly distributed through all the strands then I'm gonna grab my Denman brush and I'm brushing that through No, you guys I'm going for my cream of nature curl activator cream and I'm using that generously as well and of course that oil you can't miss out that oil that oil is gonna be the icing on the cake all right Spray some more water because I find that the hair was feeling a little bit dry after adding those product. Not dry as in dry, but dry as in lack of water. So you spray water whenever it feels like it's, you know, kind of sticking to your hand. It should always feel slippery and moist. And you see when I'm working with my subsection now I am still wetting that down because as I said water is your best friend whenever you're doing coils or whenever you're doing any style with natural hair now you're gonna want to comb your section out with a small tooth comb just to get out any small tangle this is the motion that I do not want you to do if you do not have very curly hair already. That it will not coil, it's gonna flip right back. It will not maintain a coil pattern if your hair is not super curly to begin with. Now this is what I want you to do. You're gonna need both hands as you can see me doing there. And with one hand, you're gonna be using your thumb and your index finger to hold the hair as you use your other hand to wrap the hair around your index finger, right? And you're gonna continue that motion until you're finished with that coil. Make sure you're getting the ends nice and smooth. Voila. That is perfect. So you guys, for the first one that I was showing you, that will not work most cases if you don't have extremely curly hair to begin with. That is what I see a lot of people do and it doesn't work out when you have like some of my clients would say hey shan this is how i try to finger coil i've watched some videos and this is what it's saying and i've tried it and it doesn't happen because they a lot of people who coil their hair they already have such curly hair so it's easy for them to do even if they get a denman brush and brush it through it's gonna become nicely coiled but if your hair is not super coily from the inset, then it will not happen. You're going to have to curate the coil. You're going to have to be doing a little bit more to get it this way. Please let me know in the comments section if you've ever finger coiled your hair, if you've done it by yourself, if you've gone to a stylist and let me know what works for you. Because personally, if I finger coil my hair, I don't necessarily have to hold it and twist it like I'm doing in this video. I can just coil it, wrap it around my finger two or three times and pull that straight to the ends and then bam, 
nicely coiled but that doesn't necessarily work for every hair type every hair texture doesn't get it that easy so i was very very happy to make this video because uh, i know it would help some people even some of my own clients And I want to touch on the shampoo process, guys, before you go in and finger coil. Make sure that your hair is very moisturized. Make sure you're using a moisturizing shampoo. And a deep conditioning moisturizer will also set you up for success. Because you want the, all the moisture that you can get when you're doing this type of style. And for it to last very long, your hair has to be properly moisturized. Like for this style, my client will keep this style in for even four weeks. Like she would go for two weeks with it being... Um, coil like this and then she will kind of pick it use a pick and pick it out and get it more fluffier and she will wear it like that for another two weeks she can even shampoo her hair while this is in but she's gonna have to be very 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 gentle because when they're wet they can become a little fragile and i think i've said this before but i am not sure so let me say it again Please, when you're going to do this style, your moisturizing shampoo and deep conditioner is a must. It is a must. Like, I will have clients sometimes come up and say, Hey, I want finger coils like what you do, and so and so, and they're really nice, and I want them too. And I'm like, Yeah, man, sure, definitely. But they don't want to do a deep treatment, a deep conditioning treatment. And I'm like, hey, you have to. It is essential for you to get a deep conditioning treatment when you are going to get finger coils. It is going to make your style come out way much nicer. And your hair is going to look way much moisturized and rejuvenated. And your curl just gonna, is just going to look juicy. You don't want coils that is looking so so you want coils that is looking super super coily and juicy so you cannot skip the moisturizers you cannot skip the moisturizing shampoo you cannot skip the deep moisturizing conditioner and it would be nice if you could steam your hair as well steam is gonna allow that moisture all of that moisture to just lock into that cuticle so steaming your hair is always a good choice for any hair type i've i've find for any hair type steaming is always good i hope you're enjoying all of these coils that i'm doing i love them they're so nice and juicy and remember that if you're working on somebody or if your hair is very thick like hers because her hair is super super thick please make sure that your section for each coil is small enough you don't have to do them tiny 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 but make sure they are small enough that they are holding the coils together all right by the way, you guys, please rate this color. I have done this color on her about six or seven weeks ago, or say maybe two months ago, and she loved it. And it came out nicely, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about this color. And guys, do not forget your water bottle. Keep spraying down the hair if it's feeling a little sticky. Once it starts to feeling sticky, spray, spray, spray. I have cut out some of the the times when i've stopped to spray down the hair because i know you guys are quick learners and i don't have to be telling you the same thing over and over again all right and i don't like to say the same thing over and over again so get your water bottles spray it down whenever the hair is sticky yeah all right this was very satisfying to me to do even though it took some time it took me about two hours for just the finger coiling granted you guys if i was making this video for you it could have taken me a little less 
but i wanted to get this video out for you guys because a lot of my own clients ask for a video on it and also some of my subscribers um ask for a video on finger coiling and it's been a while but you know i'm still gonna come through so this is me with your finger coiling video and i hope you watch and enjoy and i hope you also be active in the comment section you guys i know we are on our way to 2k subscribers and i am loving it i appreciate all of you guys and after we get to 2k we are going up and up and up all right i know that i have not been super consistent with the videos every sunday but life happened you guys and sometimes some weeks in the salon can be so hectic and i sometimes i have the content and i just cannot find the time to do the voiceovers and the editing editing is a lot of work but i i'm hanging in there and i hope you do too because trust me believe it or not i enjoy making this content for you i enjoy doing these voiceovers so it's just that i am super busy and i will get back on track so don't give up on me keep motivating me by liking the videos by subscribing by leaving comments um you know you can always request a particular video and i will try my best to get it out i'm not sure about the timely manner but i will try my best to do it eventually and please you guys share the video tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend if you know any young upcoming stylist or any person that you know likes to do hair even if they are a diy girly please share my video with them I'm sure they will be able to learn a thing or two from my content. Don't you think? Guys, I hope you have already gotten the the finger motions part please if you have not just make sure to go back to the front when I'm doing it in real time and make sure you have it done pat you do not have to keep your comb in your hands like I'm doing there it's only because it's comfortable for me to do so if you have to put your comb down and work with your fingers to do the coils please feel free to do that i just have my comb in my hand because i'm really comfortable with it being in my hand it's not hindering me in any way now we are getting down to it we are almost done and i'm loving the the outcome it's very very juicy and the coils are so neat i like it it looks almost like sister locks i love it And you guys when you use this product that i have used you don't have to worry about any white cast on the hair because as soon as the hair is completely dry there will be no form of white cast over the hair so the cream of nature curl activator is great for this because it has a little bit of firmness to it but it is very 
mostly soft i don't recommend you doing this these coils with gels because it's gonna be too hard and it's not gonna move so i love this cream for it because when you're done it's movable and it's just soft all right so feel free to give it a try if you have not yet And make sure please remember do not leave out your oils 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 and you guys for, for the oil that I was using in her hair you know I have my little blend of oils I will have that available for purchase very soon so I hope you guys will support me whenever my website is up I am looking forward to it. I'm so happy. I've been using these oils, this oil blend for so long, for years. And I'm finally being able to put it on the market. And I'm so happy. No, you guys, this is the final look. I put her under the dryer for about 20 minutes because I don't want it to be totally dried out. I dry it just enough to get off that white cast. Then I go in again with my oil blend and I oil or those coils and this is the final look it is so lovely and the color is just popping let me know what you think about this look and let me know if you're gonna try it out and let me know how it comes out thank you for watching love you guys bye